What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over the Sony a7C and I know there's a lot of videos on this camera already. I'm a little late to the program, but you know, I was sick and all that. If you guys saw the last video, I got my hands on a new camera and it's the Sony a7C. We're gonna go over a couple of things on this camera and by the end of this video, hopefully help you in deciding if whether the Sony a7C is for you or the Sony a7 III since they are pretty much almost the same camera with a couple of differences. Let's get into it. Obviously this camera for just the body is a $1,800 and around 2000 with the lens with the kit lens that it comes with I personally bought the camera body only it takes the same battery as the Sony a7 III Which is perfect because I already have a couple of those. It's the same sensor as the Sony a7 III Same 4k up to 30 frames per second and up to 120 frames per second at 1080p It has all your picture profiles. So those s log 3 s log 2 HLG Which is what I use most of the time you also have your mic and headphone jack, which is great along with USB-C charging, which is super cool because if you don't have a charger or maybe you're charging your batteries on a separate battery charger and you have a battery in the camera that you wanna charge, you can just connect it to a USB-C charger and charge it up pretty quickly as well. You got the real-time eye autofocus and animal eye autofocus, which this is one of my favorite new features in the camera. It tracks the eye during photo and during video and it follows and it's really good at tracking your eye to keep focus on your subject. It's, it's like really, really good. It's one of my favorite things off of this new camera. The size difference isn't too much between the Sony a7 III and the Sony a7C, but it does feel more compact. I mean, that, that's that's the best way I can describe it and that's what they called it, the Sony a7 7C, the Sony a7 compact. And one thing I did notice on this camera, the shutter speed does only go up to one four thousandths of a second, not opposed to the a7 III that does one eight thousandths of a second. It hasn't been much of a problem for me. Uh, maybe in photography, for people who do like sports and stuff, they might need more than the one eight thousandth or for certain scenarios. For video, I mean, you usually want to keep your shutter at the, you know, the, the one fiftieth or depending if you're doing slow motion, I don't really push it that high for video. For photos, just depends depends on what lens you're using, your aperture and all that. There's a lot of factors, but it hasn't really been an issue for me. Finally, one of the things that made me want to buy this camera is the flip screen. So being able to see how busted you look during that shot, or if you have a booger coming out, or you know, whatever it is, to be able to see yourself while you're filming is pretty cool. I mean, it makes creating content a lot easier and it's awesome. Thank you, Sony, for finally putting a freaking flip screen in your cameras. So let's get into the experience I've had with this camera the last couple weeks um, and how I've used it and liked it so far. Using this camera has been uh, a lot of fun actually. It makes me want to film more because it's a lot easier to just grab and go and be able to film yourself if you're vlogging or doing anything like that opposed to bringing this Sony a7 III right here that I have all rigged up in a cage with the monitor and all that. Like it's really not a great rig to vlog on but the Sony a7C having that camera readily available it's just cool you know it's fun to have a camera that you can just grab and go as you can see this is the a7C with my Tamron 20 to 75 and I mean the lens is a little bigger than the actual body but I mean it's not bad you know you flip that screen out you got yourself a cool well if you move this out the way you got yourself a cool vlogging camera that is not bulky it's not crazy and it's not super heavy either so one of the other main reasons I bought this camera was to have have it as a B cam which this camera makes a great B cam because it'll match pretty well with your Sony a7 III as well as it being a smaller compact version of the Sony a7 III it is easier to put on a gimbal and fly on the gimbal and use that as um, a B cam as well or when if you're shooting them I've been in a lot of scenarios on gigs where I'm doing photos and videos and being able to have a camera on a gimbal ready for video and one in hand for photos, it's really cool. Like it makes things a lot easier than having to switch over on modes and everything on one camera. And plus being able to fly that camera on a gimbal like the Weevil S um, is great. Shooting photos with the camera has been a lot of fun as well just because of the small form factor. I started off on the Sony A6000 and I freaking used that camera till the end. It still works now, but I used to love the size of that camera and being able to shoot photos with it. And the quality is the same as the a7 III looks great the viewfinder on the a7c is not that great I know I know I've seen a lot of people on YouTube complain about it but I myself always find myself shooting through the monitor not through the viewfinder so it hasn't been an issue for me at least I've been able to shoot photos just fine and especially with the new eye autofocus the real-time eye autofocus it helps dial in that focus a lot better and having to use the eye the viewfinder a little less I don't know maybe some people love using the viewfinder I haven't really seen an issue with it one of the main 
main things you're kind of taking a hit on when making this camera smaller is the custom buttons. The Sony a7 III has a bunch of custom buttons. You can customize everything. Sony a7C, you're kind of missing out on some of those buttons, but there is still is a lot of customizable buttons in the camera that will let you kind of make things faster as you go, just like on the Sony a7 III. I don't know, for me, I miss them and I don't. I kind of gotten used to like where I put my functions and all that, and it doesn't really bother me. For the most part, even in my a7 III, I use a feature called My Menu. My Menu is a part of the menu that you can customize to whatever you need to be able to access it a lot faster than having to dig through the menus. What's new in the Sony a7C that I like a lot is that you can now enable my menu to come up automatically when you press menus. That's pretty cool. I use this my menu on Sony a7 III already and I use it on the Sony a7C and it helps out a lot to do things like change your frame rate, things like that that you might have to switch and instead of digging through the menus you can get to them really fast through my menu. Another thing I really like on the new Sony a7C is now now you can customize the function menu when you press the FM button you know you, the little menu on the bottom comes up you can customize each one according to what mode you're in so if you're in video mode you can put video mode features down there that you might need and if you're in photo mode it'll change to whatever you have customized down there as well which is super convenient because there are different things you want to change whether you're shooting video or photo so having that there accessible as well is really cool so another thing I noticed is they did switch the manual shooting mode to the movie mode right next to each other so this is also really cool because when you're hybrid shooting if you're doing photo and video on one camera you know you're having to click through all the presets and then get to the video mode and then having to click back to all the through all the presets and get to the manual shooting mode it's something very small but kind of gets annoying after a while if, if you're hybrid shooting throughout the day so it makes hybrid shooting a lot easier you make less mistakes when you're on the go and you switch over to maybe like a preset mode instead of the movie mode then you might mess up and you don't notice or whatever you're in a dark situation it's a lot easier to switch between the two modes speaking of presets Says they also added one more preset slot so I use these as well I use them a lot for vlogging and video stuff you can set one preset up for 24 frames per second 4k set one up for 60 frames per seconds at 1080 and maybe one at 120 1080 and you can switch between those three and you have everything dialed in and with one click you can have whatever you need really fast there's a new dedicated record button which makes me feel like this camera was designed for content creators or more video based people so that's cool too I've been using the hell out of that record button just because it's there and it's easy to just find when you're clicking so it's cool I, I really like it so finally who is this camera for and should you get this over the Sony a7 III if you're thinking about getting a new camera or getting into the full frame system because I know the Sony a7 III and the a7C are within the same price so let's talk about first who this camera is for so, I mean this is a tricky one essentially this camera is for anybody I mean anybody who shoots video and photo can use this camera using this camera and how it functions and the experience I feel like this camera was created more for content creators and people who are vlogging and maybe you know doing this as like a hobby or whatever or just you know want to film their kids want to film themselves but also has the potential to move into a professional side of things and be able to shoot professional quality content you know obviously content creators who do this for a living this would be a great camera I think it's one of the best vlogging cameras you can get right now although I do see myself using this camera in a professional environment definitely as a B cam you can use it as that too so this can be a camera for someone who needs a B cam, who needs a second angle, who needs something that is smaller to carry in their bag that's gonna fit along with all their other gear. The camera is great. It's a great hybrid shooter camera as well. So if you're shooting video and photo, just like the a7 III as well, it's a great camera to pick up if you're doing both. So should you buy this over the Sony a7 III? Hmm, this is a tricky one. I think that maybe if you run a business, you're not really creating content on YouTube, you're not um, like a vlogger, you're not doing any of that kind of stuff, you're mostly behind the camera shooting, directing, or doing any of that kind of stuff for your business, for clients, I think the Sony a7 III would be the camera for you as far as creating content for clients and all that. If you're creating a lot of content for YouTube and you don't necessarily do client work but you know you want to create more content on YouTube and film yourself and do different things I think the Sony a7C is a great camera for you if you're trying to get into the full frame world I think it's a great camera to pick up as well but I think the a7 III is a great camera to pick up even to enter the full frame world as well so at the end of the day um, both have great images both have great footage I think you can't go wrong with either or I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I can help you guys in uh, maybe deciding or hopefully I didn't leave you in the limbo if you guys already picked 
picked one up, let me know in the comments and see how you like it. If you're gonna pick one up, let me know as well. Um, I think it's a cool camera to have. It's really fun, really easy to use, really easy to pick up and go and just create content, which at the end of the day, that's what matters. So yeah, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. There's gonna be more videos coming up. I will be doing some renovations around here, changing some things around, so I'm gonna try to document all that. Hopefully, we'll see maybe the next video. That'll be done. Probably not, actually, no, that won't be done. <laughs> maybe the next two, three videos, but see you guys later. Peace.